Hello, Papa! Hello! We are going to be trying Swedish food. Now, Rappasen here is my French friend. He has never tried a lot of Swedish food. And now, he's going to try all Sweden has to offer. Let's start with the sill, which is uh, basically herring the fish, which has been put into a pickle, and then it's pickled. It's pickled fish. We are going to start you with a gateway sill, which is that one. It is straight up onion sill, pickled with the onion and the carrot and those black things. I don't know black what they are. Black pepper. Black pepper. Yep. It's so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Next up, we're going to have Senaps seal. Okay. It is seal pickled in mustard. It's one of the best ones. One of the best ones Sweden has to offer. Do you I'm like it? I'm, yeah, yeah, it's good. I'm surprised that the mustard is not spicy at all. Which one would you say was best? Number one or number two? Onion, I prefer. Onion, okay. <laughs> this is a bit of a tricky one. This is called matche seal. With this one, what you do is you take a piece of seal. Yeah, and you dip it. Yeah, then you dip it in some sour cream, and then you dip it in some onion. Oh, So there good. you have it. Let's try Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's one of the best ones. Would you say this is the best one or the worst one? It's pretty good. <laughs> That's the worst one. <laughs> Onion is super easy to eat. This one was pretty strange, but I like it. Mm -hmm. And this one is kind of boring, I think. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Next up, we're stepping into a fried herring, which has then been pickled. Mm -hmm. This is also one of my favorites. And also sweet. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Ah! Yeah. Next up, we're gonna try some more fish. We have right here Anjovis Original and Kung Gustav Lettrökta Sardiner. Try it. Kung, Kung Gust Gustav Lettrökta Sardiner. Oh, yeah. That's pretty yeah. good. So these have uh, skin and bone and everything still in them. But you eat, but you eat it. Did you like it? It's pretty soft. Not very you strong. like it? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's not very mm -hmm. strong taste. No. Next up, we have Gerebestod's Anjuvis Original. But this, we have to make a disclaimer. You don't eat this open, as is. just no. as it is. No, but we're going to. Ooh. Oh yeah, wait, we tried this in Malta though. We, we did, I think. Yeah, you did. we definitely did. These are very sweet, I remember. Mm, I like this one a lot. It's very sweet. So, did you like those? It's fine. So now we are going to try caviar, Rappasen. He's already tried the regular kind back a while ago, but now we have different types of caviar on top of knäckebröd. So we have Kalles caviar, we have pretty, this one, which is apparently pretty nice, and this one is the absolute nicest. Try it, Rappasen, I wanna see, I love this one. Mm. Do you like it? It looks like you're playing a guitar. <laughs> it's very good. It's very good? Mm -hmm. It's a bit salty, but yeah, it's very mm -hmm. good. So next up, we're gonna try the Kelades Holmen caviar, which is apparently a bit nicer uh, of a quality. I think it's a bit different, but I prefer the um, Kelades. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have the nice one, the Drots caviar. Let's go. Very different. Very, very more smoky. You like it? <laughs> <laughs> what would you rate caviar, Alex? No. <laughs> so, next up, Rappasen, we have this one, which is called liver pasté. Basically, nice. liver pâté. Okay, so let's try it. Mm. And it's with salted cucumber. Mm -hmm. It almost doesn't taste anything. No, it's pretty bland. Yeah, I don't like it, actually. So now we're going to try three more things on a tube. First off, we're going to try Böckling Paste, which is basically smoked fish in a tube. Then we have this one. Can you pronounce that one? Adelost. Eh. Adelost. Oh, yeah. yeah, pretty good. Adelost. This is basically blue cheese or like green cheese in a tube. And then finally, we're going to try this one which is shrimp cheese uh, that you put on sandwich as well. So let's start with the fish on a tube. No, chef, damn! Did you like it? Mm -hmm. I like not, the other one better. Not my favorite. Okay, now we're gonna try the uh, shrimp cheese. <laughs> he, Robinson is an expert cheese eater. He eats cheese all the time, different cheeses and stuff. 
I don't really like it. You don't like it? Not really. I think the taste of the cheese is not really good. Okay. In a, in a, like... Sweden has been destroyed by a French cheese master. So finally, we're gonna try this one, the blue cheese, or the Abdelost, which is like green cheese and the blue cheese, but apparently green cheese doesn't even exist, so I don't know. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> it's fine. Mm. It has a light taste of blue cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not very super strong. Yeah. So now we are moving on to the hot food. This is the hot Swedish food that's traditional. Over there we have pölsa, which is basically a lot of uh, insides of the animal. And it looks like that. Papa doesn't like it. No. And here we have fried salty herring and that is extremely salty so let's start with the fish and see what you think and it's onion sauce on it yes onion sauce a good sauce you're supposed to have a little bit of potato with it but you should try it at first without the potato Oi. Oi. it's not that salty yeah. so you like it yeah, it's fine. I was expecting to puke like the licorice, extremely salty. <laughs> but this is more salty than the licorice. Yeah. Now we're gonna try the pelsa, which is basically gross meat. I think I'm gonna like this. You think? Yeah. I don't like it when it's like inside, like organ food. It's more the thought of it, I think. I, I don't mind, personally. It doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> Did you like it, Alex? It's not good, but it's not as bad as I remembered. Okay. So the last hot thing we have here is Jansson's frestelse. This is basically like potatoes and this fish, which we've already tried, but now you get to try it inside of a dish. It's a bit too salty for me. But this was too salty? I mean, no, no. Are you mentally no. ill? <clears throat> like, I think I'd like it if it was a little bit less salty. But it's still good. So Alex just noticed that his beer was literally me missing a huge piece of glass. And he saw it at the bottom of his glass floating around. You wouldn't have noticed it otherwise. You would have drank this one and you would have literally died, Alex. Probably. Now we can put almost died in the title. <laughs> <laughs> we are now going to try glug, which is very Swedish, and ballerina cakes. Balle. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, glug, if you don't know what glug is, this is glühwein for the, the German people that are watching. It smells really good. Really good. Yeah. Oh. Oh. And this you drink very warm. You don't like it? No, it's not. Try it with the cakes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And then some of the glug. It's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't like it. Really? Yeah. Rabazan is trying to dunk it now. Try it, Rabazan. You like it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good. I mean, you don't have to finish it. <laughs> now it's time for the snacks. We have Swedish Linz chips, which is basically chips made out of lentils. I really like this. It's chips. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Now we're gonna try some sodas from Sweden. We have pommak, we have trocadero, and finally, julmust. Try julmust. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay, it's like a cola. But with more spices, kind of. Yeah, a bit of a fruity taste. Mm -hmm. Like cranberry taste a little bit. Do you like it? Yeah, it's fine. Next up, we have trocadero, which is... Uh, I can't really compare it to any other drink or soda. It's very special. It's like fizzy apple juice. Fizzy apple juice? Or is it? Do you like it? It's fine. Between fizzy apple juice and Sprite. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. And finally we have pommak, also very Swedish. It's similar to trucadero. Yeah. But yeah, this is a very old recipe. It's fake champagne. Yeah, it's kind of like fake champagne. More flavor. Mm-hmm. More apple flavor. So, uh, Swedish soda, what would you say overall? 
Seven? Seven? Okay, that's pretty good. Papa, now we have came on myself because now we are on the last step of our Swedish cuisine journey. We are going to try Suströming. Yeah. And uh, no, we're not gonna open them indoors because that would stink up the entire house for weeks. So we're going to go out on the balcony. Now we're outside because we're gonna try the Suströming. Rappasen is very excited for this. Okay, Papa, are you ready to open it up? Yeah. You can see, like this is supposed to be flat. You can see how much it's bulging out because of the gases from the rotting fish carcass. We need to open it in a bag because it's gonna spew out so much liquid. It smells like my bedroom so far. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of smells like silly. Take a whiff inside the bag. No, Rappa please. No, please. <laughs> I want to survive. Good. I smell the cam. I'm not gonna take a huge whiff. Yeah, take a whiff. Take a whiff. Doesn't smell. It doesn't smell puke bad. I can see how if you open it in a house, it's a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Give one to Rappasam. Get the whiff of the fish now. The whiff of the fish. It smells bad. I can, I can see it smells bad, but it's not like everywhere. So now we're just putting it on a tun bread with some potato, sour cream, tomato and onion and then the fish. And then we're gonna eat it uh, like it's supposed to be eaten. Yeah, for the first time. Actually. Yes, for the first time. After that, Rappasam, you're gonna try just the fish to see what you think. I've done it many times. And it's not super good. I... For some reason, I'm not like intimidated anymore. A lot of fish, yes. There we go. You're rolling it into a nice little Swedish burrito. Yeah. Burrito right. of death. <laughs> How am I gonna eat this? With your mouth, usually. Who's gonna taste? Not me. Yeah, it's you and Rafael. Okay. Really? Yeah. Like that. Do you like it, Baba? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's not super good, but it's highly overrated as a bad food. Mm. Want another piece? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rappasen is gonna try just the fish now, so you can really get the flavor. And don't just swallow it like cheat it, just taste the flavor. Okay, you ready? Let's go. It's, it's not, it doesn't taste good. If you exhale, there's a little bit of poo aroma, right? If you exhale through the nose. I haven't Rappers eaten poo recently. <laughs> <laughs> so today we've learned French people think poo doesn't taste that bad. <laughs> I'm still eating. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> 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 <laughs>